All right, so what's good everybody on YouTube? It's your boy AJH and I am back with another video. So today, yes, we're in an awkward, very, very awkward area situation right now. And I will, I will, we'll, we'll move, we'll move in a minute. I have an unboxing for you guys. So, you know, little fun story. Um, I've been waiting on this package for three days and this is the third day. So the first day, I didn't realize I had to sign for this. So the first day I missed it. Second day I missed it because I fell asleep 25 minutes before they arrived. And now today I stayed up and I waited thinking it was going to be here around 12. No, it showed up around 20 minutes ago. So about three o'clock. Whatever you just saw, I apologize for that. So I actually recorded that about a week ago. Um, it's actually, yeah, it was May 20th when I recorded that and it is May 26th currently. For starters, I was on no energy, no sleep, no nothing. I did crack open the G Fuel that day, but it just, it didn't help that day. Going on no sleep, waiting for a package that you've missed three times in a row was kind of stressful. So this part of the video is gonna be a lot better. So. Hope you guys really enjoy it. So what I was trying to talk to you guys about in the video was my 72 and 10 11s. Now, I didn't do a full like review because I was so out of it. I, I said words that I, I didn't even know what I was saying. My brain wasn't there. It's probably never at all here anymore when it comes to like rewatching my videos because sometimes I'm like, why did I say that? Or, you know, stuff like that. Common, common content creator stuff. Anyways, we are here for the review on the 72 and 10 11s. Now these things are beautiful. Um, I don't have the official, the light on. I'm gonna go turn that off. All right, maybe that doesn't look as good as I thought it would be, but these are that, the 72 and 10 11 lows. Um, pretty good pickup in my opinion. I really, really enjoy wearing this shoe, uh, only because, and I did wear them. Yikes. I only like these because they're so simple, they're so clean, all black with tumbled leather. You know, these, these could, <laughs> I could wear these in a wedding. You, you really never know. I could wear these and rock these in a wedding. Between the lows and the highs, there was actually a lot of differences that I actually picked up after getting them both in hand. So this is the high top version, and then this is the low top version. So obviously the low top doesn't have the Jordan back here all shining like a diamond, but it has it back here in that same you know type of print or whatever you wanna call it. What is it, what do you wanna call it? Actually, it's pretty different. This is like a solid metallic, you know, like a metal. And then this one's like Play-Doh. To be to be to be honest like I, I I don't know what material this is but the big difference between the two is this actually has a lot more you know quality over this shoe this shoe was just a I'm gonna be lazy cut off cut off this part and just drop them that's pretty much what they did now the reason why I say that is because first off the the, the liner the sock liner is actually like a mesh and the leather does not feel as buttery soft as the high top version. And I cannot stress that enough. Along with that on, you know, here on the outside and the inside, this leather is not as squishy and plush as the one on that one. Oh, the carbon fiber. So the carbon fiber on here is actually kind of more detailed. Um, actually, it's pretty, pretty good for what, you know, this one has, this one's pretty, I have worn these a lot, so they're yellow, but this one's not, you can hear it, but it's not as good as, you know, that one. Quality on this shoe, you get a, like, not a satin, but like a suede, you know, suede sock liner. You also get, you know, you just get a lot more quality out of this. This is more, here, this is more plush, here, and it, the, like, the tongue is way better. Also, both of these do say the same thing on the tongue. Inspired by the most iconic. What did I say? 
It's by the by the most historic season ever, led by the greatest led by the greatest player ever. Okay, other differences. Um, we have a white jump man, we have a black jump man, and this one we got a white one in the new release. Um, this one's this was honestly not as bright of a white when I first got these, but this pair right here. Um, obviously they're yellowed because of how old they are this came out in 2015 and then these came out this year so honestly and you know the the price point I actually paid 275 yeah 275 for these at a sneaker con and i got these for 220 no two yeah it was like 220 two something like that after tax because i got these for retail got these for resale and honestly these have actually gone up in price surprisingly i think the last dead stock pair i seen on StockX was going for 375 so i honestly think this is the most like underrated jordan 11 out there really comfortable and you know subtle shoe for the summertime especially since you know summer's coming up so this will be definitely the shoe to bust out for me in my opinion that was it for this video if you guys have any comments you know questions about shoes anything because i'm a shoe guy i kind of miss it comment down your favorite colorway of the jordan 11s because there's there's a lot you know there's the breads the concords there's there's a tons and tons and tons of different jordan 11 colorways even pe's i know some of the pe's that you know some other people might not know of but Anyways, that's it for this video. I hope you guys really enjoyed. Please leave a like and hit that sub button because we, we, we post in content, all right? And uh, hit that noti bell so you know when I post. I'll see you guys later.